this video lecture. In this lecture, we are going to study about circles. So, first of all, you will see this question which was given to you by Pawan sir in the previous lecture, and it was asked to find the maximum temperature that it undergoes. So, what we were supposed to do here was differentiate T with respect to V. And when we do this, it will become 3P0 by NR minus 2P0 V by NR V0. And we have to equate it to 0. Right? So, what you will get after solving this, you will get that V is equal to 3V0 upon 2. So, this is the volume at that point. So, what should be the temperature? Temperature would be 3P0 into 3V0 upon 2 and here it is NR minus P0 and when you put V as 3V0 by 2 this will become 9V0 square upon 4 NR V0. This would get cancelled and here we will get 9 by 2 P0 V0 by NR. Here we will get 9 by 4 P0 V0 by NR. So, what is the maximum temperature that would become 9 by 4 P0 V0 by NR. So, sir, I think this is the temperature which is required. Maximum, uh, maximum temperature, the graph was given to you and you have been asked to solve the steps that is previous to this one was discussed in the next, uh, last lecture and I have given the equation that you have to quit this term to 0 and now this is the way in which we have to solve this question. If you have got the answer correctly that is fine otherwise you just go, you just go through the solution that is described there by the professor. Okay. So now let us start what this lecture is meant to be about that is introduction to circles we will study only that mathematical portion of circle which is applicable in physics so it is not all about circles it is only some small portion of circle which is applicable in physics so in this picture first we will try to find out equation of a circle and this circle has a center which is origin and it is having a radius suppose 8. So center is origin and radius is 8. Then what is the equation of the circle? So in such case if we take a point x comma y on the circle then the distance of this point from this origin will always be constant and that is equal to the radius of the circle. So we can say by distance formula that OP is equal to 8 which implies root over x square plus y square is equal to 8 which means x square plus y square is equal to k square. So this is the simplest form of the equation of a circle and here the center of the circle is origin and the radius is a units. So now we may also need, need to find a circle which one of circle when the origin is shifted to some other point also yeah. a general equation a general equation of a circle and here what we are doing we are taking any point in any quadrant suppose h comma k and we are seeing that this is the center of the circle and then we are drawing a circle with a radius a units so what would be the equation of the circle in such situation so again you have to take a point p x comma y on the circle and by distance formula this cp is equal to a and cp is root over x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square is equal to a square so what is a yeah this is equal to a and when we will square both the sides we will get x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square is equal to a square. So this is the equation of a circle whose center is having abscissa h and ordinate k and radius a units. 
So circle as well if I want to ask them mm -hmm. to find the equation of a circle whose center is given, let us suppose 2 comma minus 1 and radius is given 4 units. So it is now very easy to get the equation of this circle. So to find equation of a circle what we require is the coordinate of its center and radius of the circle. This two things are given then anybody just by using this expression can find the equation of that circle yes so here uh, i think uh, uh, they can easily do it uh, they can write it as x minus 2 whole square plus y plus 1 whole square because k is actually minus 1 so it will become minus of minus 1 plus 1 is equal to the square of 4 which is the same we can open this bracket and further simplify it so that is not needed right now. We are not going beyond this. We can also give an equation here. Uh, a question where equation of circle is given and they have to find the coordinate of its center and radius. So can this be done? If a question of circle is given, can they have yeah, yeah, It is possible. Uh, that means the equation of the circle is not given in this form. Yeah. It is a uh, general form. If it is given in square of x square of y yeah, yeah. so let us take an example yeah. uh, 